so for today's video we are to um, discuss another um, another topic in relation to the to the subject in accountancy business and management which is the business finance so this is the very first topic for your subject business finance so first is the definition and areas of finance so we are to discuss the definition of finance so finance it is both a science and art of correct application of the economic and accounting concepts and principles that define the system structure and process of management allocation and utilization of financial resources investment and expenditure so that is finance for us to furtherly understand its definition we are to um um, ating hihimayin kung baga ang kanyang definition. Okay. First, first na pinaka-importanting makikita natin sa kanyang definition is it is both a science and an art. So, it means based on factual information which is the product of scientific business processes, supports and provides a basis for making financial decision. So, in finance, it is a very useful um, factual information na magagamit ng mga finance officer, ng mga manager, especially also the owner on making financial decision on what is happening in the business. Is it gaining or is it losing? So that is the finance. Second very important um, part of the definition of finance is the application of economic and accounting concepts and principles okay for that it means economic or economics efficient utilization of scarce resources to satisfy human needs and wants so in business um, you are to use the available resources to provide your customers needs and wants hindi mo kailangang um hindi mo kailangang mag-explore ng mag-explore Kung anong meron, yun yung gagamitin mo para i-provide to the needs and wants of the customers. And then, for accounting is an art of recording business transactions and deals with the preparation of financial statements. So, so af as what have you learned to your fundamentals of accounting 1 and fundamentals of accounting 2, which are you are recording business transactions, which is very important on preparing financial statement for your internal and external users, especially you as the owner or the president of the company number three very important um part of the definition of business finance i mean the finance is the system structure and processes so system connotes that the financial activities of the business are properly coordinated with the whole structure a clear financial procedure directs all the human resources of the business towards attainment of the ultimate objective okay ang pinaka example nito is your organizational chart so the organizational chart will help you clear Clearly on what will happen on the business, especially on um, attaining the ultimate objective of the business. If the ultimate objective is to be the number one in 25 years from now, to be the number one um, providing services to the customers. So, kailangan alam mo yung sistema ng company mo, alam mo yung structure, alam mo rin yung processes. Also, in processes in with regards to your services and products. So, dapat alam mo, you as the owner, the uh, manager, the, um, let's just say, dapat alam ng lahat ang system, structure, and processes ng inyong company from the top level managers the middle level managers and the lower level lower level managers i mean okay number 4 na pinaka importante sa definition ng finance is the management allocation and utilization so efficient handling of business resources financial in nature that is management allocation wise distribution of financial resources to the different functional areas 
and utilization is correct sourcing of funds based on the concept of risk and return. So, management alam mo kung paano, kung saan, at kung ano ang gagamitan ng iyong mga finances. And allocation is kung gaano kalaki or kaliit ang kapital mo, alam mo kung paano gagamitin yun at kung sa uh, kung saang resources ka din kukuha, kung kukulangin man lang. And then, utilization is the correct sourcing of funds based on the concept of risk and return. So, it means kung kukulangin yung kapital na nasa sayo na, is alam mo kung saan ka kukuha ulit ng um, sources which is you are risking, but then again, you have a return. You have another or an additional capital to your business. So, that is the definition of finance. Fifth um, important part of the definition of finance is financial resources, investment, and expenditures. Financial resources refers to the funds of business which are provided by the owner or by creditor. So, sa sinabi ko pa kanina, the allocation and the um, the allocation and the utilization. So, allocation is the capital. Saan ka kukuha ng capital? Dayon, um, the utilization, which is um, you are risking, but in return, may makukuha ka, which is the um, another amount from your creditor. That is financial resources also. And resources um, in investment, which is from that capital na inilagay mo sa business and the money from your creditor na inilagay mo rin sa business is mag-grow yun. Diba? Um, lalaki yung pera mo, magro-rollyo yung pera mo sa business mo. And the expenditures, which is yung mga expenses na nai-incurred ng iyong business. Okay. So, those are the... Um, explanation on the definition of finance. Now, we will proceed to the areas of finance. For the areas of finance, we have two types, the private finance and the public finance. So, we will first discuss on the private finance. Private finance is the management of financial resources of private individuals, non-government organizations, and private organizations in accordance with the prescribed financial policies and priority of the person or the business organization. So, from the word private, it is, a, um, it is applicable to the private entities. Okay? So, pinakauna is your personal finance, which is you. Personal finance, management of personal resources of an individual. So, what are the um, personal resources of an individual? Your income, your compensation, your income from ex exercising your profession or your businesses. Also, kung isudyante ka pa, katulad nyo, is your allowances. How you manage your personal allowance on your day-to-day Day, um, mga activities ninyo as a student. Okay. Number two type of private finance is the business finance. Focuses on handling the management of financial resources of business organization. So, ito is personal for persons. And then, ito is for business. Yes, it means na sa business mo na yun, sa mga pera ng business mo. Okay, there are three major divisions of business finance. First is the financial management. Focuses on capital budgeting, decision or investment decisions on the acquisition of assets and its current corresponding finance, financing scheme. Okay, so from the definition itself, investment. Um, it is a kind of financial management is... Um, Bibigyan ka nito ng ideas on how to manage your investment and also if you are to acquire another asset. Kasi hindi naman kasi sinasabi na kung ang business mo is uh, may income, kailangan uh, bili ka rin ng bili ng assets. Kailangan alamin mo rin na magkano yung income mo with regards to your expenses, kaya pa bang bumili ng another asset. So, ganun yung financial management. Timbang-timbangin mo kung kaya ng um, capital in relation to expense kung kukuha ka pa ng assets. Or kung hindi man is 
mag ka ng capital, I mean, mag ka ng cash to your company from creditors. Okay. Number two, or number two na type of business finance is the capital market studies the different financial institutions and their functions that provides assistance to both public, uh, to both private and public borrower funds. So, dito na papasok si creditor. Dito na um, as a owner or as a finance officer, dito mo na masasabi na ay kulang yung pera. Kailangan nating umutang para meron pang pera sa ating business. Ganyan. Pero hindi ka naman basta-basta uutang kung hindi din capable ang business mo na magbayad sa uutangin mo from financial institutions. Number three, which is the last um, major division of business finance, is the financial investment. So, business decisions about the value and price of stocks and bonds, portfolio analysis, market analysis, security analysis, and behavior of the investor. So, from this financial management, kung um, pumunta ka na sa creditor mo, Tapos, gusto mo pa rin mas maraming pera yung business mo. Doon ka pupunta sa mga investors mo. Which is, um, tutulungan kang um, lalago yung business mo at lalaki rin yung um, pera na papasok sa business mo. That is financial investment. Or, price of stocks and bonds. Bibili ng stock or mag, um, bibili ka ng stocks for your company or ikaw yung magbibenta ng stocks to um, the market and then may bibili ng stocks sa'yo so meron na namang perang papasok sa business mo na let us proceed to the number two area of finance which is the public finance this is the allocation of the government income generated from either taxations or borrowings and the government expenditure based on the approved national and local appropriation or budget okay as you remember in your fundamental of accounting too in the last topic we've already discussed is the income business and taxation so dito papasok si public finance from the money generated from the money generated paid by the taxpayer to the bureau of internal revenue doon kukuha ng um, pera yung gobyerno para mag generate or para gamitin sa mga expenses na kailangan ng government which is um Ang yung mga expenses is dito ginagawa nila sa national and local appropriation and budget. Okay, binabudget nila yung pera na kuha nila sa mga taxpayers on kung saan nila ilalagay yung mga pera, uh, infrastructures, health, education, kung magkano yung ilalagay nila doon. So that is public finance. And then in the public Public finance, I mean, the agency involved in public finance is the Department of Finance. So, sila talaga yung pinaka, pinaka, pinaka um, directly related sa finance in terms of public finance. And then, Bureau of Internal Revenue kasi sa kanila nanggagaling yung mga pera na i-allocate ng Department of Finance. And then, the Bureau of Customs, the Land Transportation Office, and the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board. So, lahat ng perang nakukuha sa mga agency na ito ay ginagamit ng gobyerno in part of the Department of Finance na ina-allocate nila sa mga expenses na kailangan ng government. So, those are the areas in the um, finances. I, I, I mean, those are the two areas in the finance. So, we are done discussing on the definition and areas of finance. So, I hope you learned something on what is finance and what are the areas of finance. So, see you on the next video um, with regards to the topic business finance. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something on today's video. Good day!